so here's the uh, math of, of uh, setting up the machines. Um, right here you can see I've drawn out a picture. I'm an artist so it's kind of nice to see actually a visual. Uh, so I draw it out. So the center table 1, center table 2 is 70.312 or 5 sixteenths. Um, through my math I figured the model is 26 inch high standing. So if the figure were standing upright um, of Joe McCluskey I'm doing, um, that would be 26 inches. And I want it to go to 7 foot. So um, I need uh, 84 inches, 7 foot, but I have to add a quarter uh, times 7 feet, which is an inch and um, a, uh, 3 quarters uh, inch to add on to that 84 inches. So here I've added that on. Uh, that's for the shrink. Quarter inch per foot uh, is usually what the foundry says. Uh, a quarter, uh, eighth of an inch in wax uh, shrinkage and an eighth of an inch in bronze. If you were going with sand casting, it would probably be just about an eighth of an inch uh, shrinkage. But here we're doing lost wax. So 84 inches of uh, seven feet uh, plus the uh, inch and a half, uh, inch and three quarters equal 85 and uh, three quarters total. So I've come up with my ratio from 26 inches to 84 inches, and I've come up with a, a ratio of 3.3. Um, I take away one, and I end up with a ratio of 2.30. Uh, then I divide the ratio by the table distance, or actually it'll be the pointers as well. They'll be the same distance. And I end up with uh, a distance from table number one to uh, the center of the ball pivot, which is 30.57, a little over 30 and a half inches. Uh, and that's how I set it up. So it's that, it's that simple, but you do need a little bit of math. So here's the 30 and a half, uh, 30.57. And what I'll do is try to measure with a measuring uh, stick or, um, or tape measure, the distance from here to here approximately. And as I said in my previous uh, video, I have a surface gauge that can fine tune that right in. It can also move the ball left and right uh, in every angle basically. So uh, that will fine tune, but we're, right now we're just gonna get it approximate. I wanna make sure that I don't have to move the upright base um, uh, or upright that holds the boom. And uh, if I don't have to do that, that's great. Just saves me more time. So here we have, I need to get 30.57 inches. I'm going from my center uh, point here with a tape measure. It's approximately there. I need to bring my ball pivot um, out this way to the center of that. So uh, what I've done is I have these um, pipe hose clamps and they uh, slide down here. They help to um, adjust it. That's loose. Now I have to loosen. Now this has to be right on. I can't adjust it assuming where it's going to be. Next, I'll get my trammel points, mark them for 30.57, put those in there, tighten it up. So I've um, measured, taken my trammel points, adjusted them to 30.57. It fits in there, fits in there. There's a little point in, inside the ball socket, which is really helpful. And um, that lines up that's exactly 30.57. Um, I cinch down these clamps next to the, the pivot um, socket post. Tighten that down, tighten the other side. And now I'm leveling this. I want this to be pretty level. 
There, that's level. Now I can cinch down this. And we're, we have the boom set up, almost. Tight. Check the level. Good. All right. So we're good there. Next thing is, I have to see if I have to move this back. Chances are I don't. Not too bad. Looks like it's pretty much right where it is. Uh, I'll have to go this way though. So I'm going to adjust the surface gauge, clean it up a little bit. It's pretty dusty. Needs the oiling. And uh, I'll get back to that and I'll show you how that works. And setting up the points. So I've put on the uh, pointers and I've adjusted them already, but uh, uh, this is still not tight. I have um, a string that I, a gadget that I use to place in the, the cup of the pivot ball and I run a string, a line from here to there. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that the that point and this point line up together. Looks like this can come out a little bit. Right now I'm doing it perpendicular to the line. The points are perpendicular to the line. Looks like it's right on. Good. Then we check it at different angles. See if we're going to have any um, distortion. Is it going to dig in? Is the point going to dig in a little bit further or the, the stylus? Doesn't look too bad there. Slight difference. So, cinch this down. Recheck it. The nice thing about this string device is I can use it while the boom is up in, on the socket and just set it up there. So that, that actually works really well. I'll show you that. So you just can go up in here. I just flipped it over and it'll go there and the boom will sit on top of that and I can show you that another time. So that's it. That's the pointers are pretty much lined up. The first thing I have to do is build an armature. I've, um, but before that, I have to test out everything. You got to make sure it's. I got fine tune it with the, the uh, uh, surface gauge and adjust the ball exactly to it. There's some testing that goes on with that uh, by setting up some boxes and some paper, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But you can see that. Everything should line up pretty well. Good. Everything's tight. We're good. 